Shannon, coming to you from the International Wireless Communications Expo. I'm here with Dan O'Malley, Senior Product Manager with Cisco. He's going to give you a quick overview of the multi-vendor interoperability solutions that Cisco offers. Take it away, Dan. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, Dan O'Malley, Product Manager at Cisco. Uh, we're showing a few things in the booth today. One is on our IPix 4.6 release. Uh, another thing we're showing is uh, P25 communications over an Android, over an LTE network, which is uh, pretty cool. And the third thing we're showing is a touchscreen turret. A lot of people want to uh, push something on a touchscreen console and transmit on either the phone system or the radio system. Those are the three main things. I'm going to first start off by showing all of the hardware. As you can see, this is the award-winning Cisco uh, UCS platform. It's a, uh, think of it as a router and a server. There's a bunch of servers in here with a bunch of compute power. We're running our ISSI gateway, our DFSI gateway. We're also running the IPIC server in here, uh, Call Manager Express. And we're running our unified media server that does all the media patching. Uh, so this is all running on this Cisco uh, C240 UCS. We have a Tate DFSI base station. So this is an 800 megahertz base station that will talk to a portable. Out of here is an IP stream talking to a Cisco router. So that's uh, from the infrastructure standpoint. Uh, you have a router, uh, RF base station with an IP connectivity, and a bunch of virtualized uh, software running in a server on the UCS platform. So what is all this interoperability communications? So when I push my button, I'm going to actually make a, a radio call. And this is going digital packets over all of the LAN mobile radio network. And you can see this, that you have a talker ID. So this is a subscriber talking to a uh, dispatcher. And you have push to talk uh, talker ID. When you uh, aren't pushing the button anymore, it goes back to normal operations. So we can also talk back to the subscriber by putting the mouse over the DFSI talk group. You push the uh, button and it turns yellow and you can see that you're getting a call on the radio. So one of the important things uh, for some customers is encryption. So we support full P25 encryption. That is an encrypted uh, conversation when I push the portable. It's encrypting the uh, voice over the air and it's showing up here and it's decrypting the, the voice. This is end-to-end -end encryption. Uh, when the dispatcher pushes the button here, they go back out uh, to the radio in an encrypted uh, manner. So end-to-end -end encryption uh, using DFSI. Uh, you can see these other channels. They have scanners. So you see the green incoming uh, signals. That means the channels are active. Uh, the other thing I want to show you on our new software is something called Tearaway. So Tearaway is, allows you to segment different workspaces. So you can tear away this uh, folder, uh, and you can have many folders uh, running at the same time. So if you have many monitors, you can now segment all the different uh, talk groups and just channels that you'll be working with. Uh, the other interesting thing in this release is PhoneBook. A lot of times you want to call different people. You can bring up a dial pad here, and you can actually look in phone books. So you can have a personal phone book for your personal numbers. You can have a uh, enterprise phone book, or you can have a local phone book. So there's three different flavors of uh, phone books in this release. Um, and again, you can uh, minimize different things here by clicking on the uh, X button and go back to your radios. Uh, so this is just the upgraded user interface, uh, and you can see this is a P25 trunking channel, and when you transmit there, you can see that means it's encrypted. So, and, and we also have other people talking to us in the booth, so I heard that, and you can see the talker IDs, that's another thing you saw there on the P25 trunking using the ISSI interface. So that's the uh, IPix 4.6 uh, dispatch console. We talked about all of the uh, equipment in the rack. Of course, we can still push the talk from a phone. So the, uh, from a Cisco phone, using uh, voice over IP, we send it to our gateway, uh, encode it into IMBE, send it over the P25 network. So many uh, points to uh, get into the radio network. Our next thing that we're showing here is our uh, touchscreen turret. 
And what, what's great about this is that if you have a lot of phone calls that you're dealing with, as well as radio calls, you can do stuff like request to talk. So subscribers can push a button on, the, on their portable and get in a queue. And so you have this radio queuing feature, or if you put, push the emergency button, you can get in uh, priority call queues. So you can deal with just normal push to talk calls. Uh, and this is great during a disaster where you have a lot of users trying to talk to the dispatcher at the same time. Uh, but the really important calls, somebody can hit the red button and it can come to the top of the queue in a priority call queue. So radio call queuing, phone call queuing, uh, and then you just, it's a nice touch screen where you just push the uh, button on the channel and you're transmitting uh, either on the radio uh, or on the voice channel. So very easy to use. Uh, the next thing we want to show is the mobile client. We have a P25 mobile client on an Android device. Okay, so it, this is really cool. A lot, a lot of people uh, think you can't really send P25 audio over a carrier network or over a uh, LTD block network. This is a demonstration of actually encoding audio on an Android device. So I push my button here and you can see it's actually uh, coming into the console. So you're tr we're transmitting audio uh, over an Android. And this is a uh, mobile client from Etherstack, one of our technology partners at Cisco. Uh, again, you have different talk groups, so you can select your talk group and you just hold on the button and you're, you're transmitting. So this is a, a very uh, interesting way to save money on the radios. Instead of, uh, you might have occasional radio users who happen to have Android devices, they can now join uh, all these public safety calls. Or if the chief's on vacation over in Hawaii and he needs to talk on the system, uh, internet of everything, logs into the internet, uh, logs into his channel, pushes the button, and now he's talking to all the users. Uh, again, so it's very easy to communicate, and it's secure, because this can also be encrypted. So you can encrypt, encrypt these calls with the uh, P25 encryption. So you push the button down here, so it's actually coming into the uh, dispatchers and the other radio users. So that's it from uh, International Wireless Communications Exposition. Uh, thank you.